Huh. Something about this feels strange. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know who I am. I'm the greatest star of our generation of all time, for God's sakes. You know what? Let's make my night interesting, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wrestling Is For Everyone. I'm your commentator, Phil Becker, and I'm you the next hot and crisp commentary. And this is going to be a great night, but let's bring it all over to the ring announcer, Christopher. Do your thing. At this time, please welcome the greatest star of our generation, the Veronica Wrestling Did he pay you for that ring announcement? Hold up. The greatest. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, as you are quite aware of at this point, Yukita Noi, the Wrestle Orchestra Grand Composer Champion, is in the building and. I'm actually kind of shocked to see him here, and honestly, I mean, what what could he be here for at this point? I mean, he's not scheduled for a match for as I know of. Oh, okay, he got Mike. Let's see what he got to say. Well, uh, fancy scene for here in Anaheim, California, isn't it? I know, I know, I get it, I really do, I get why you're all booing me right now, because you all just can't accept the fact that I'm still here, you can't accept the fact that I am still the greatest star of our generation, of all time, and you definitely could never accept the fact that I'm still the modern age Beethoven and the grand composer of today's wrestling world. You all hate to see it, but you can't do anything about it. I defeated all your so-called heroes and challengers that you throw with me to the point where it's starting to get where people are either delusional or they just can't accept their reality. No matter what you do or how many people you bring to me, nobody has been able to take the title of Grand Composer. You know what? Matter of fact, Speaking of the title of being called Grand Composer, it's been getting a little bit quiet as far as this so-called competition goes. And honestly, I don't mind it at all. Sometimes, you just get that itch. The urge to get back in the ring and show why I am the best in the world today. So starting now, I am on the search for potential competition that can even turn their miserable careers into a memorable one. And so I decided to come here. Wrestling is for everyone. As a starting court for young, interesting, and uprising stars as this place is just so full. And so I ask, you want to get famous? You want to get rich? You want to make your big Martinez wrestling industry like I have? Well, I want you to try all that you like. Because if you make one big mistake to prevent it, then you will easily fade away to the world seat in just three seconds. And if you don't believe me, ask Logan Drew. 
It took a few seconds for him to have his own road to see him. Where is he now? You know? You? You know what You? Nobody? No? Alright. Cool. My next point. Sean Riley. I have to go through him four goddamn times to make sure that he had some time to figure out on what he wanted to do with his career. And well, he chose to be a right. Joshua Phoenix. Now, I will admit, he tried to fight back this time. He really did. I will give him credit for that. But time did not stop him from choosing his own fate. And just like the rest of them, he chose to be irrelevant. You see, everyone? It's simple as this. If you can impress me well enough, then your dream of facing me for the title of Grand Composer could possibly come true. But just know that when it is time, it will only take three seconds for you to make your decision before you shall join the history of a relevant past. Until then, I'll be watching. Oh, well then. It seems that you can know he's in a giving mood. Says that he's going to be scouting for one lucky person to probably fight him again and who knows it could be one of these two combatants that's gonna be competing in just a little bit because so coming up next we have caliber zero someone who i have watched for a very long time someone who i inspired to see going up against someone else so going against none other than Sunni saffron sunshine this is a match that you are not going to forget here at Wrestling is for Everyone. What kind of trick is he doing? He just fell here. This is going to be one heck of a match. This is going to be one heck of a show for you guys. As you know, I can tell you right now, Caliber Zero stands at six foot one. She will be having the height advantage of this matchup. Yasumi is only at five eight. A real weight. The arrival of Caliber Zero as she is making her way down the gorilla position. match here showcasing what she can do in this ring as for her opponent plans to do the exact same thing Sumi Saffron Sunshine now, this is going to be one interesting contest here to see these two different styles clash as he enters the Corolla position Oh, uh, yeah, right. Right here, 
the Sky Favorite Boyfriend. He is Sumi commentary partner that I have been on the table with once before but now he is in this ring he is here to prove himself to see to show the world what he can do this is a big opportunity for Sini and Caliber but you gotta, you gotta question who's gonna be able to capitalize on this opportunity who, who, I mean hey these guys could be up for contention to fight Yuki Inoue for all we know since, you know, we are aware that he is scouting. Two different styles about a clash here, ladies and gentlemen. And Finley is the more technical of the two. Sally more of a brawler, more in your face, more straightforward and to the point. to get started here. Are these fans all ready? Are you ready? You see right here, like I was telling you before, Cali does have a height advantage and a weight advantage, actually. And it's going to come down to, I feel like it's going to come down to who's going to make the first mistake. Who's going to make the mistake that transitions and game changes this match? Is it going to be Zero or is it going to be Sumi Sunshine? We are just going to have to see. As the bell rings, here we go. Sumi telling her what she got. As they lock up, here we go. Call elbow tie up here. Once again, the weight advantage that Callie has. Using to her advantage, pushing him into the ropes here. <clears throat> you can see the look on Callie's face. You can tell she is focused. She is zeroed in. She understands what she is possibly getting herself into what she could possibly achieve at the end of this road here. As Simi now takes the, take the back here. Probably gonna try to take her down perhaps. Trying to wear her down, oh, wait man now. Oh, now Callie with the back. Trying to wear Simi down. Oh wait, Snapmare from Sumi. Taking Callie back down to the Snapmare position. I need to get something here. Oh, wait a minute. Coming down. Oh. Into a nice grinder headlock here. Showing the technical style right now. Showing that Callie's been actually doing a pretty good job. I wasn't sure if she could hang up with Sumi in this race. Oh. Going for a knee, but got blocked in Kyle Elbow. Tied up again, but Sumi takes the back one more time and now finally takes Callie down. Still got the waist locked. Oh. Big elbow to the shoulder blade. And another one. And no way. Oh. Okay, now Callie now got the back. And now Callie takes Sumi down to another headlock. And now. Oh my god, just close fits to the face. Oh. Sumi having response. But now pushing her back. Oh. Ooh. A little showboat in here. I don't know how well that's going to fit. I don't think he's going to like the view when he turn around. Oh my god. Smack the living taste out of his mouth. Callie ain't in for none of it tonight. Duck down. Oh, it's the... Oh. That's a nice toss right there into a knee drop. 
Nice follow up there from Cali. And now, oh, dropping the leg, dropping the elbow. Now dropping that forearm into the face. Assuming, going to a pin here. One, two, nice two count there early on in this match. Styles about to come in here, guys. And she just controls the match using her fist. Using what brought her to the dance. Look at these right hands from Kali. Oh my god. The rocking thing. Now, oh. Now, knees to the mix session. One, one knee to the face. Right hands now down up top here. Oh, South Paul with the left hands. You gotta be careful with that referee. Now, look what Kelly might be end up doing here. Got it. Oh, another knee. The knees, the strikes in this match are gonna be very profound as. You have seen right here. Multiple knee strikes from Cali. Look at that. Just sent him into another corner. Now body shots. My God. Was there any other sport? I think Sumi might have been knocked out by now. Oh, whoa. Oh. Hey, man. Sumi's showing life. Oh. Sumi found an opening now. Small package, small package from Sumi. Oh, that's when I thought he was about to steal one. Oh, well that ain't nice. That ain't nice at all. Just scraping his boot on Callie's face and now dropping the knee to the sternum. And more knees, I guess, giving out the seats from earlier. At first I thought this was Callie's match, but then Sumi just found that opening and managed to pull her off of that turn buckle. And now, and now, oh my god. Now the nice left hand there. And now right hands from Sumi. Got Callie on the ropes here. Looking groggy. Now, going for, oh! Knee to the temple. That could be it right there. Now going up top here. That guy seemed to be getting back to her feet. Oh! Huge blockbuster from the top rope. One, two, no. Attack here, and that's the way he's doing. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a minute now. Oh, oh okay. Kelly got smarter than Capone and Ka uh, Sumi out of the damn ring. No, oh, no. I don't know what's Kelly thinking here. Well, I guess I'm going to take one. From Sumi's commentary lines. Oh wait! Oh wait a minute! Never mind! Oh! Just clipped the ankles from Cali Caliber Zero. Oh my God! Oh man, that 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 could be detrimental here because now. Sumi is now zeroing in on his legs, no pun intended. Mataki pacing around, picking his spots. Oof. 
Oh, my God. The defiance of Cali. The defiance of Cali was there on display here. Basumi trying to put her down. Going back after the leg. Oh! I can hear these kicks from here. Multiple kicks in the inside of the leg. And just mocking her at the same time. This is... This is something I was not expecting to see. After the opening of the match. Oh, oh wait a second. Seems like Cal still got some life in the one of her feet. But not for long as soon he takes her back down. Now, again trying to dissect the left leg of Caliber Zero. Each and every hold, holding in more and more. Look at this. Nothing too flashy, nothing too out of the way. Just something that's effective. And see, this is why I would disagree with here is the show building. So if you gotta finish this, if you got the opportunity to finish it, I would if you could. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, just, oh my god, Dragon Screw, that's what I thought. Caliber still had some fight left in it. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, hey, hang on now, this is, this is like a very, almost like an inverted figure four or some sort. Just pulling on the leg, oh my god, this is it right here, this is an inverted figure four. It's locked in, in the middle of the ring. There is absolutely nowhere for Calibre Zero to go here. The fans are trying. They're trying to the will on Calibre to keep to keep going, but I don't think she's gonna have a choice. She might have just to tap out. Wait a minute. She managed to slip her way out and a right hand for good measure. Still fighting with everything she got. With her hands, multiple right hands to the face of Sumi, going off the ropes here. Oh, pump the brakes. Oh, close line from Cali and third. Cali was trying to wave up some momentum here. Four arm to the face, go for a bulldog now. Oh. Everybody home. And then, oh. Over into the road saying, good lord. Side triangle drop kick there from Sumi. And now, I think Sumi is coming for an elbow drop. No. Oh, wait a second. So wait a minute. So caliber cutter. Oh my god, that could be it. If Cabo can just crawl over to the pen. Come on, wait a minute. Here we go. One, two, no. Oh my god, the hesitation. The fatigue settled in for Caliber. As you couldn't capitalize as much as you wanted to on. That's so caliber cutter. And now these two stare at each other on opposite corners of the ring. Knowing that these two still got something left in them. And now Sumi, right hands to the face of caliber. Asking him that's the best that she got. And Caliber telling you that she still got a lot left in her. Excuse me. Caliber. Wait a minute. Oh. 
Cobra saying she's here to stay. She's not going anywhere. Oh, see me. Oh, come on. Oh, that's just, that's just foul. Ref, you gonna let allow that? Oh my God, boot. And oh! Huge wheel kick from Sumi. Yeah. Oh. I'm seeing him going for something here. Oh! Get caught. Oh my God! Did you hear the headbutt? Oh my God. Now, wait a second. Fever Wave Valley! Vaporwave Valley could be the sign. What the hell? What the? Yeah, get out of here. Kill the undercut. Why the f are you here? Why? Why now? You f attention. F Screw you. You really ruined everything. No, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to lose my job. I'm probably gonna lose my job, but I don't care. I know what you're thinking, Bill. You should be impartial, but I can't help it. All this pain, all this suffering. Yuki Ashkov had me thinking he was, he might have been a bad person, but Yuki has shown his true colors. He's made this personal. He's attacking one of the young all-stars of this business for literally no reason. All these random acts of violence for no reason. Oh my God, get the hell out of here, stop! You call this the you, can say, you bastard. Oh no, you can come on. Please. For the love of God. Oh hell, the greatest star. Come on! What what what, what the hell? Oh my god, that's Ty That's Tyrene! Yes! Yes! Come on, Ty! Get that motherfucker out of here! Oh my god, I've never been so happy to see you. Come on, you can come get what you deserve. Oh my god, Tyler, I'm so happy to see you, man. Now come on, come on. You're the greatest star of our generation, right? Get back in this ring and prove it, since you obviously have too much time on your hands. It's clear to me and everyone watching right now that you are the most spineless individual walking the face of the earth. You see, I've been sitting in that crowd watching the show all night because tonight, my boy, Sumi Saffron Sunshine, my student, had a chance to prove himself to a large audience to a worldwide audience why he deserves to be in this ring, why he deserves to be known not only for what he can do behind the table, but what he can do between these ropes. And obviously, obviously, his dreams had to be cut short by you. Now, now you might not have known who he was associated with, but you know him now. And everybody knows, anyone who knows me personally knows I am sick and tired of you. But I was willing to hold myself back the entire night for him. And Caliber Zero, you're a hell of a talent yourself, and I hope you have a bright future. But tonight's not about you. But tonight is not about Yukira. Tonight is about what Yukira did and what I'm going to do to him going forward. And for anybody in the back, whoever may concern, whoever the management is, before you send security out of my ass, you might not hear this. Now, I've been saying it for a long, long time, that Yukira Nori has an ego, a thirst that will never be quenched, 
because he's always got to have the spotlight. And now he has a championship that he can use as an excuse to show up anywhere and everywhere he wants. And that's fine. Do what you want. It's your life. But the minute you start interfering in mine is when I have to step in. Now you see, he can't defend himself. Not after what you tried to play. Not after the match he tried to have. But that's where I'm going to step in. Because again, I allowed you to play your games the entire night. I was sitting in that seat and I was twitching the entire night because there was a part of me that wanted to flip the switch, jump in this ring, and show you who really brings the noise. But I held myself back because I tried to let everything that we've had go. I tried to let everything that you did to me go. And I tried to be there in support of him. And you couldn't even let me have that. And since you obviously obviously feel you have something you need to prove why don't you take it with somebody who's your own size and who's willing to drop you the way you tried to drop him because you may think you're safe up on that stage but i will jump over these ropes and i will speed up there and throw you off of that stage so how about we make it official how about we do this? I don't care if it's in a parking lot. I don't care if it's backstage. And I don't care if it's in this ring. You and me. And I'm not doing this for what happened all those years ago. No, 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 no. I'm doing this for my boy. Because if you ever lay your hands on anyone I consider family, as stupid as he may be, if you ever lay your hands on my kid, let's just say your legacy ends with you. So how about it, Yukia? You want competition, you're here. You're in wrestling is for everyone. You're here looking for a fight. You've beaten everyone that's come your way. Can you do it to me again? Come on, you kid. Answer the call. Time for another comment. You did this, you kid. You made this personal. You want your answer? You really want your answer, huh? You'll get it. You'll get it when I'm ready. Come on, come on, come on! Prove to this company, prove to these fans, and prove to yourself that you really are what you say you are. Come on, you get a... Answer the damn call. You want this fight. You want to fight and you're going to get one. You're going to be given one on a silver freaking platter. Oh my God. I hope soon he gets the help he needs. You done mess with the wrong person. You done mess with the wrong people. And now you better reap what you sow. Black.